because I feel like aerial views are always the best when it comes to bag unboxings even though nobody does aerial views and just kind of just yeah I'm on my floor and just um, holds the bag up I feel like you lose that kind of point of view type of um, experience so I, I don't know you guys let me know in the comments if you like this kind of um, unboxing but yes today I went to Chanel and I did not plan to make this purchase whatsoever it's a long long story of how I got this bag but I'm just super excited and thought I would post a video about it to share my whole journey of getting this bag and one other small leather good because I just could not resist myself so basically if you guys know this pre-spring summer collection uh, just came out and it finally hit boutiques in um, Canada took a long while for it to get here but it finally got, got here and I was on wait list for three bags I wanted the gold iridescent bag not iridescent sorry the gold like metallic mini flap and I wanted the silver um, the silver one as well the silver metallic mini flap I lost the lottery for both of those um, basically if you guys don't know I don't know if it's the same in every Chanel store but in my Chanel store um, everybody has to be put on a lottery and a wait list so months in advance I put myself on the wait list for those three unicorn bags that were posted on the Chanel website and then yeah basically um, Shortly after I put my name on the wait list, I think a few months later they did the draw and I did not win for the gold or the silver so I was kind of disappointed and I had actually forgotten that I had put my name down for this bag but randomly last night at like 10 p.m. my essay texted me and she was just like girl you won the lottery for the iridescent and I was like what in the world what iridescent I had completely forgotten that I was still on waitlist for this one because after the first lottery the store manager actually texted me and she's just like oh i apologize like you 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 didn't win the lottery for the two other black bags and we were finished we're finished with the lotteries so i was just like okay yeah whatever save my money but anyways so yeah basically i've been wanting to buy um some chanel for a while now and i just never pulled the trigger because of the price the price is crazy but then i don't know like when when something exclusive comes up and somebody texts you and you have to go through this whole damn process I you just lose brain cells and you you just make a purchase so anyways here's that loss of brain cell <laughs> purchase and I'm gonna be unboxing it with you guys today so probably you can tell from the um, from the title of the video you already know which bag I got and based on what I just said right now you probably know so let's get into it this is like live unboxing I literally just left the store like two seconds ago and I'm back here sitting at my window corner trying to film this video for you guys but yeah I thought I would share with you guys because oh like this is like insane like I don't know oh yeah also my essay gave me a gift I don't know what this is but I'll open this later and let you guys know um so okay let's open this shit up okay the first thing yeah i got two items because i couldn't resist this is another item that i wanted for a very very long time but i just uh never pulled the trigger on because they didn't have the color that i wanted and then this color came in in the type of leather and i was like give me that like i don't even care anymore i I've, I've lost enough brain cells today i can't even think i can't even i don't know i couldn't i'm i blacked out man i blacked out at chanel and got two bags but yeah let's let's have a look okay so here it is are you guys in frame you guys can see i'm still in the same outfit um but yeah okay so here it is with the beautiful silk camilla flower i'm just obsessed with chanel i have like an addiction i have a problem but anyways here it is here it is let's open it up I'm making such a big deal of this people are gonna be like that bag's ugly why do you even care so much but like girl like no, nah, I love it. Oh my god, it got stuck on the thing. Okay, no, let's stick this on the ribbon. I collect these. Using the waxy side to save and preserve the camellia flower. Okay, so let's open this up. Here it is with the typical tissue, which takes them forever and ever to freaking package up in the back. And then you got this little tissue, tissue, uh, what do you even call it? Ugh, pillow over here she gave me two beautiful dust uh, wipes I don't even know what to call this but you use this to clean your bags and she gave me two because she said this is a very special type of leather and a special type of bag so it requires two whatever I was like thank you very much 
Um, and then here it is, the bag itself in the typical dust bag with the side, ooh, you can see it, um, with the side opening, it's drawstring dust bag, which is kind of different because the double flaps come in those um, flappy things. And here it is, all wrapped up with tape. Anyways, okay, so let's remove that. So here it is, you guys. It is the mini, no, sorry, the small Chanel 19. Super exclusive, iridescent. I don't even know if you guys can tell. The video doesn't even like, like give off what it looks like in person, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is um, two-tone metals, typically, of this design with a beautiful big flat pocket at the back that actually has the magnetic closure, if you can hear. And you can like shove your phone in the back and everything is like really soft leather. So you, this is like a very usable bag. It has a top handle so you could just grab it and go. And then obviously it has the twist lock with the chain detailing of the CC. And look at this color, I don't even know. It's like pearl, like literally this is what a pearl looks like. Um, and then obviously the bag is stuffed with stuffing. The inside looks like this. And then it also has a zip in the back like so with the authenticity card and the authenticity card number matches the number inside um, the bag itself. So you can check that you have the right bag. So, oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. I don't even know, I have no words. Obviously I lost too many brain cells today when I blacked out at Chanel, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I, I've been wanting a neutral color bag for a very long time now, one that is casual yet slouchy. Absolutely gorgeous bag. Another thing that is really great about the Chanel 19 is that it's very, very lightweight. It's not like a classic caviar double flap. Those are quite heavy by itself, so it's kind of annoying to hold because once you put things inside of it, it gets really heavy. But yeah, here is the exclusive unicorn bag. Amazing, obviously very very expensive but at the same time it's a collector's piece it's one that's very uh coveted by collectors so it will retain its value and if any time i want to liquidate this and sell it online i can definitely get back my money for it if not more especially because it is in the iridescent color absolutely gorgeous not a lot of people like the chanel 19 but i really vibe with this color it's very classy and it's very casual at the same time if you know what i mean it's very wearable it's definitely going to be one of those collector's pieces so that's that that is the chanel 19 and then let's move on to the other item that i got when i was blacked out at chanel there's a shot of it with iphone lighting okay so here is the other item that i blacked out and bought um not necessarily blacked out too much um, it is an item that has been on my wish list for a very long time i wanted it in black but the black literally is so hard to get. Um, and then all the other cute colors get sold out right away. And the reason why I even knew they had this was because it was in the display um, in the front. So when I was lining up to go in, I was just like, oh my God, they have that, like in that color and that leather. I was like, ugh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be grabbing that today because if I don't, I'm gonna regret not getting it. So here is the next item. Let me just go get a sticker paper for this first. A flower and put it on. And let's have a look at this. This is so stunning. I'm obsessed with it. I honestly am. And it's one of the cheapest things that you can get in Chanel that has like an actual chain on it. Um, and that's why I wanted it. There's like several reasons why I got this and I'll go through it with you guys when I get it out of the bag. Can you see the color? Oh my goodness. It is a wallet on a chain. Well, basically a card holder on a chain. It's so on trend right now with the whole mini bag sort of vibes. This is how it looks like. It's a beautiful pink card holder on a chain. And the reason why I got this is because I've been thinking long, long, long and hard, and look at all the room, I can put so many cards in it. I've been thinking long and hard about getting an actual card holder, like the mini card, like the double flap card holder, but I just never bit the bullet and I never bought one. And I use card holders all the time, it's literally all I use. Like all my bags right now is like are empty, all I have in there is a card holder, sanitizer, lipstick, and that's it. Um, I don't really carry that much stuff with me anymore out when I'm out and about, but this is perfect for that. It comes with the chain. And normally these things are like anything with a chain 
is way more expensive in um, Chanel, but this was actually quite reasonable. So super cute. It is in the caviar leather, so it's definitely more durable and user friendly than um, the lambskin. I've seen this in the lambskin, but in red, and I've also seen it um, in like weird, so I, I don't even remember what that other color was, but like a weird sort of grayish color. But like this one is totally up my alley. I love bright pinks and I love things like this. It also has like um, a car folder at the back, so you can definitely um, put in another credit card or like most used credit card at the back and then inside you can use like use it for like all your other um cards like loyalty cards ids everything or you can put your most used card over here that's kind of probably what i'm going to do um super super cute would be really great to use as well if you ever go to a theme park that requires like a little little disney pass or something like that super cute super lightweight and so on trend right now another way that you can actually use this is as a mini bag um, which I, I thought would be really funny, which is if you double cross it And I was playing around with this in the store. Let me just get this triple chain Little like Jacques Mousse vibes of a little little mini bag, which is so cute and so adorable Like this is totally up my alley like just this Little thing is just adorable so i could actually use this regularly in my bigger bags as my actual card holder i would just like loop it around like this and keep the chains like dangling dangling about um i love that it's caviar leather and i because it's like way more durable and i can just like throw it around like i don't have to baby this piece the only thing i have to worry about is like jeans color transfer but that's pretty much it but other than that it's an awesome piece to have a great one to add to the collection okay so here is the chanel little gift thing. I think it's a book that my essay gave me. Let's rip this open. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Oh, cute. It's like a full on um, book. Chanel Dream. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Look at this. That's so cute. Wow. It has like their photography of all the, what is that? Is this take outable? I don't know what this, this is pearl star and then it like kind of opens up Ooh, i feel like all the brands are really pushing fine jewelry like lv is pushing oh selenite look at that or satin spar if you're really into crystals but yeah interesting oh this is beautiful i love shooting stars but yeah cute little gift from chanel a cute little jewelry book beautiful i think i'll just keep this maybe like on a coffee table or something but yeah thanks it's a really nice, nice advert type of book thing. Um, apparently people collect these. I have no idea. I'm not like that deep into Chanel, but like, yeah, that's what my essay told me. Very cute. Very appreciative that she gave this to me. Super cute. Okay, cool. So yeah, thought I would share. So that's that. That is my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.